rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless Give me that nigga in the What up, world? It's your boy, BA For Real 100. Welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Mm. So, right now, as you can tell, I'm definitely not happy. I'm definitely in my feelings. I'm super in my feelings. Why? Because my Dallas Cowboys just lost. They just lost. And this is... And it just it sucks. It sucks being a fan, it does, of a team... That you've been a fan of your entire year, like your entire life, and I'm almost forty years old, and I've been a I've been a Dallas Cowboy fan my entire life, especially being from Texas, etc. Um, but today's game, like it, it proves everybody right, man. All the Dallas Cowboys haters, it proves them right. It proves them right. We are an accident waiting to happen. You feel me? We don't just lose. Like, we don't just get blown out and shit like that. We lose the game. We lose close, important games. That's what we do when they matter. I'm not talking about regular season, filling up the stats. Uh, Kellen Moore with his uh, Jason Garrett slash Mike McCart McCarthy type. I don't know. Play calling this season has been horrific. Yes, we went 12 and 5. Yes, salute. But we beat nothing but bad teams this year. So when a lot of my fellow fans, I mean my uh, my fellow cowboy fans, were like, "Yo, B, this is gonna be an amazing season." Me, love uh, uh uh loving the brand and being a cowboy fan myself, I'm like, "Hold up, man, hold up, just hold up, so fast, just hold up." What's our schedule looking like? We had the weakest NFL schedule out of any team in the NFL this season. So we actually shouldn't have went twelve and five. We should have had a better record than that. We should have been a number one or number two seed. But that's another story. I'm here to talk about this game today. We let porn star Jimmy come up in this thing. And, and he, he he almost gave us the game back. He almost gave us the game back. But I can't blame. I can't. It was so many areas of this game that that, that didn't sit right with me. One in, one, one in particular was the, the offensive line. I felt like our offensive line got our ass kicked today. And is it me or was Tony Pollard wasn't uh, number twenty? Tony Pollard he wasn't getting the ball today. He only got the ball four times. I, I don't get me wrong. I, I like Ezekiel Elliott, but he is past who he was. The guy is freaking running with a brace on his leg. Has not had a good season at all. Has not. How many hundred yard games has he had this season? What three, two, some shit like that? When before he was averaging nearly that. The prior seasons, Tony Pollard should have been in that game today. He should have been doing his thing today. More touches, but no Kellen Moore. I want to throw the ball. And then Mike McCartney. <laughs> yo, yo. I don't know what you be thinking, man. I don't know what you be thinking either, bro. You got a lot of talent sitting on that bench. You got a couple second rounders that should have been in that game too, but that's another story as well. That's a whole nother subject, but... On top of the offensive line getting beat up, the penalties. And you know what they say about penalties? It's a reflection of coaching. That means no discipline. What brings discipline discipline to a, 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 a professional football team? Coaching. We got to get the coaching together, man. We got to get this coaching together. We got to get our running game together, too. And number 52, Connor? Number 52, Connor? I don't know. I don't know. You've been fucking up the whole season. Sorry, I just lost monetization with that. But you've been messing up the whole season. You got to go, too, man. Because you're very undisciplined. I know you're going to say, I'm trying to save. I'm trying to save my. I'm trying to save my quarterbacks, all of that. Nah, man, I got to hit my vape because I'm really tight right now. I'm really tight right now, but Connor got to go. Number 52, get off that offensive line. You can't be there no more, bro. <laughs> you can't be there. We got to find a replacement for you. We got to ship you off or just bench you. You can't be there. <laughs> no. Ah! And it's not all because of you because everybody, it was, it was a couple, but you did a, you, you, you've been doing this shit all season. All season. Crucial times. 
And now we're going to transition to the quarterback, Mr. Dak Prescott. Come here, boy. Come here. I think you got to go, too. I don't think I, I've been saying this for the last couple of years, man. I know you got hurt one season and all of that stuff, but I've been saying this. It seems like at when moments that at the when moments count, when moments count, the, the, the moments that count, you never show up to. You like to play catch up. But when you play catch up and you try to adjust, if the if you know the coach is throwing fucked up shit or not calling the right type of plays, you gotta be able to audible out. You gotta see this is what I'm saying. We like he don't got Dak don't got that dog in him, man. He don't got that dog in him. Pressure bust pipes. You feel me? And I was I was thinking that you were gonna come out a, a diamond, but you actually been cold, man. You've been cold. A hundred percent, bro. Either you gonna have to <laughs> either you gonna have to actually really study and get better because I know you're still young, but you've been here long and, and long enough and you still have it like you've improved in certain aspects, but your accuracy is shit. It's like we play a weak team, you come out there on fire, we play somebody whack, but the minute that adversity hits you and we play a great team. I don't know what you be thinking. You don't even look like Dak Prescott. You look like Eck Prescott. We need to take the D off of your name. 100%, bro. I don't never go on these type of rants. I know battle rap. I do sports and all of that shit. And I mostly battle rap. I know, but I know my Cowboys too. Like I said, I've been in this shit for years. 30 years. 30 some years in the game and I'm still seeing the same shit and repeat Jerry Jones. What's up, man? What you doing? Go get you a general manager for real. And stop bullshitting and acting like you the general manager. Go make your billions and let your general manager do what he's supposed to do. Because this is not working. And then I want. Then now we got to try. Because we talked about Dak. Dak, you going to. Hey, I think you got to go, bro. Not think. I know you got to go. If we can get Russell Wilson, let's trade. I want Russell Wilson. If Aaron Rodgers doesn't if Aaron Rodgers doesn't extend his contract, let's get Aaron Rodgers. Fuck it. I'm sorry, I'm done with Dak. The Dak experience, I'm done with it. 100%. Dak, you've had a chance to prove a nigga wrong. And you still haven't. Now we got to wait another season. And now we got to wait and and now we're going to have an amazing season next year. But then let's see what happens when adversity hits again. And now let's get to this defense. I think the defense actually played, they played all right. Randy Gregory, what you doing though? We need, we do need you. I think, I don't want to get rid of you, but where's your discipline at on defense, bro? You seem like you be hyped up on whatever you hyped up on. I don't know what's going on with you, bro, but you need to get your shit together. Get it together. And then... I want to talk about our DBs, our DBs, our DBs. <sighs> I love Diggs, man. Diggs is amazing, and I believe he's the future, and I know he's young. I love Brown on the outside, too. Brown had a crucial interception today. But one thing about our DBs that I do not like is they bite on everything. And it's cool to be overly aggressive. Diggs, all pro this year, second year in the league. I love it. But I need you not to be as a... Uh, you give up so many big plays at big moments, bro. And I've been talking about Diggs, this, Diggs, that. I got to keep it 100. You nice. Ball hand... the uh, your, 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 your hands... Ball hand skill, like all of that is nice, bro. All of that is nice. But you bite on too many plays. You bite on too many plays, too many double moves. I need you to learn that, bro. This offseason, I need you to work on that, bro. Because niggas want to be, a lot of people are so quick to compare you to Deion Sanders, but that you're not that. Not yet. Could you be? Possibly. Well, nobody could be like Dion, but could you be close? Possibly. 6'3", 40-inch vertical, wide receiver type hands, great feet. But you're not disciplined. 
I'm talking about you give up pretty big plays. You give up pretty big plays. Anthony Brown, I like the way that you play. You a dog. <laughs> you a dog too, but you bite on too many double moves. And I know the NFL is full of NFL wide receivers who are great. That's why they're at that level, yada, yada, yada. But no, we can't do this, man. We can't do this. Cowboy Nation, y'all got me on my, I was about to go set up my set, go in the green room and go in live. But now nah, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk to the people. And I hope this gets to Cowboy. I hope this gets to the Cowboys organization. It's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. Linebacking core, solid. Front four, solid. We made mistakes. But we made more mistakes so for I feel like we made a we made more mistakes on offense. They they were the more crucial ones to me. Defensively we did. Randy Gregory, he know what he did. But that's somebody that we do need to attack the outside. But all in all, man, shout out to the 49ers. They got the they they got the victory. And I gotta go through another offseason of of disappointment, gotta go through another off uh, another off season of disappointment. Looking at other teams that we know that we could possibly be better than, and go for it, you know. Um, but it is what it is, man. I'm about to get up out of here, but yeah, Cowboys Nation, we gotta we gotta make some changes. We gotta make some changes. We need better leadership because all of this stems from leadership. I believe leadership leadership is what sets the tone. For discipline. Leadership is what brings discipline into an organization. And gets everybody on the same accord. I feel like this year we were frauds this year. I knew it. I knew we were frauds this year. I'm going to keep it 100. I knew that we were frauds. I knew that we weren't going to be what we were supposed to be this year. But it is what it is. But anyways. um, Cowboys Nation. Hopefully next year we can we can finally win the championship. I'm I'm past this, just making it to the second round or to an NFC championship. Let's just let's just matter of fact, let's just not even win a Super Bowl. Let's just make it to a Super Bowl. Let's just make it to a Super Bowl. Win the NFC championship and make it to the Super Bowl. Cause I'm getting tired of this. I'm getting tired of my hopes being super up. I'm getting tired of watching Stephen A. Smith be right year after year. <laughs> now Shannon Sharp is on that bandwagon too. But anyways, it's your boy BA for real one hundred. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. This is your first time here. Click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. If you out there hating, just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not starting to put my page and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. I wish I had more energy. But yeah. It's time to go back in a football hole until 2023 playoffs next year when we can actually show if we've really improved. I'm no longer getting my I'm, I'm no longer going to get super hyped up for regular season shit ever again until we start unless we go undefeated or some shit. But we in the weakest division in football. We made it out undefeated. But we couldn't beat a team over 500 to save our lives this season. Think about that, y'all. But, hey. <sighs> Let's do better, y'all. Salute. Peace and love. I'll see y'all next year on this Dallas Cowboy tip. I'll you want to get your balls up media, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah! <laughs> Tell these niggas. <laughs>